Unfortunately, today I came by plane. Actually, uh, we try uh, to limit our uh, flights as much as possible. But uh, yeah, in view of my uh, agenda and schedule, I couldn't do it differently. But we already agreed that in the future we would like to visit each other by plane, but then really sustainable aviation, sustainable planes. So uh, Rolf Radespiel and I said uh, about a year ago we are going to visit each other by using an electrical plane in a couple of years of, uh, by now. And the distance between Braunschweig and Delft is so short that should be doable and it's a nice goal. Actually rather sooner than later, uh, typically you hear people talk about 2030, but we are working on a plane right now where I think this should be doable in a couple of years by ad uh, adapting uh, planes that we have right now using different uh, propulsion, perhaps using hydrogen. And I think we can make uh, a big step and do things faster than we, uh, we have in mind right now. And I think Braunschweig and Delft together, we have well, the obligation to make things happen fast. You are doing it over here. We are doing it uh, in the Netherlands as well. And I think by joining uh, forces, that's the way to go. Well, to be honest, if I would uh, have to uh, uh, phrase one word why the two of us want to do this, it's the joint spirit. I mean, uh, you have an ambition and a belief and a view to go in a certain direction, and actually we have the same. And that makes us, well, we have to say we speak the same language, want to achieve the same uh, thing, and then we can make things happen, both in the field of research, but also education will be a part of that. What's really important is that we are working towards a common goal. And like I said before, the goal that we have is to make aviation really, truly sustainable. That's what we have to achieve. In order to do that, and we both recognize, no party anywhere in the world could do that by themselves. Even though you have a big environment over here, really multidisciplinary, we have the same. But still, it's very important that we, uh, we get together and join our forces. So that's what we are trying to work uh, to do in, in the framework of this uh, agreement. And then at the same time, we want to have our communities uh, engaged. You have the German uh, community over here. We have uh, a similar community in the Netherlands. We want to have that connected. And then at the same time, we want to do something about education as well. So how can we exchange uh, students or honor students uh, how can we make it more international? It's a, yeah, it's a tough question because there is so much. Actually, what our faculty uh, is doing, it's, it's a very big faculty in aerospace engineering. I think we are one of the biggest in, uh, in the world. So there are many areas and it's difficult to pick out a few things and then neglecting the others. What I think is most important is uh, the attitude we have. Actually, we, we want, we need to have a holistic view on what's going on. You cannot solve the problems that we are actually, uh, or the challenges that we are facing. You cannot solve the issues there by having a multidisciplinary discipl approach. So we have to be multidisciplinary. We have to get the fields together within the faculty. That's what we are doing. But also reach out to other parties, to other faculties. For instance, uh, if we look at the future of aviation, then yeah, I already mentioned electrical aviation, but electrical planes are not going to be the solution for long distance and many passengers. So in that case, we have to think about sustainable fuels. And it could be anything. It could be uh, LNG, uh, liquefied natural gas, methane, could be hydrogen, could be synthetic kerosene. But in order to make that in a sustainable way, we need the people they, that know how to uh, actually transform CO2 captured from the air and electricity into these fuels. We are not doing that in our faculty, but we work with other faculties at our universities. But it should not stop there. So I'm really proud that all of our people are reaching out and collaborating with, uh, with colleagues, like the colleagues here in Braunschweig. So that's really good. But if I may, mention a few things that in, in this framework we are really proud about. Right now we are in a, in a big project uh, which is uh, sponsored by, uh, by KLM where we are working on a completely new uh, aircraft uh, geometry. It's a flying V. Got a lot of uh, coverage all over the world. 
And that's what we are actually right now, uh, we are building a, a flying scale model. It should be flying in a very short period of time now. And I think, yeah, what we are doing there and changing the mindset, make people think out of the box. I think that's really great. That's what I'm proud of. Another area where I think um, a lot of uh, developing is going to take place is in the field of AI. And one of the things which show what we can do at our faculty in this field, there was a worldwide drone competition uh, last year. Actually, more than 420 teams from all over the world, top universities, were taking part in that. And actually, there was one prize. The grand prize uh, was for the winner. The winner would take it all. It was one million US dollar, and that, yeah, we had a team of about five, six people working on that. And they had to show that they could fly a drone completely autonomously through gates. And it's the AI, the software that was doing it. All teams had the same drones, but it's the AI capability. And actually, our team beat the rest of the world, which is really great. And it took home the one million US dollar prize. And this shows what we can do. So I'm proud of that. But by mentioning this, I mentioned so many other things not. And that's a pity. If I may mention one last thing for university students are essentially the most important thing. And I'm really proud of our students as well. They have creativity, they think out of the box, they collaborate. And I'm really proud of the students and the number of students that we uh, deliver. And I think that's where universities can have the biggest impact. Not by just doing the research they are doing, and of course that's very important, by delivering hundreds of students, engineers, scientists, that go all over the world and really change the world, that's our biggest impact and that's what I'm proud of as well. Your first question was, uh, did you come by plane? Which is uh, essentially saying, well, shouldn't we fly? Yes. And we have to really think carefully about when we fly and when not. But I think worldwide there will be a continuing growth of aviation. Perhaps not so much in this part of the world, but in other parts of the world, yes. So we see a huge increase, uh, and it's now on the order of 4.5% per year, growth in passenger kilometers. If we uh, have to solve this and limit or actually diminish the climate impact of aviation, then ultimately, and rather soon, we should go to a completely sustainable aviation. So, uh, so let's say completely climate neutral. And that's a huge challenge. That's what we have to work on. In order to achieve that, first of all, it, it's like I said before, it's a multidisciplinary thing. Eh? So you have to look at all the aspects. But first of all, planes have to be more efficient. That's the one thing. So independent of what energy source you are going to use, is it going to be hydrogen? Is it uh, going to be a battery? Is it going to be whatever what? The planes have to be as efficient as possible so that we need as little as possible energy. So we have to think about different geometries, uh, different, different engine uh, geometries as well. So that's uh, the number one thing. We have to think about new materials. So uh, lighter but also multifunctional uh, materials that will allow us to do things that we cannot even dream about right now. So that's, uh, that's uh, one of the things uh, we have to work on. And then I mentioned the energy. If you talk about electrical planes, that will, of course, stimulate a lot of research in the field of uh, battery development. You are doing that here in Braunschweig, and so you know very much what's, uh, what's going on. There is going to be research on that. There is going to be research on fuel cells, on hydrogen, hydrogen injection, things like that. So that's what we have to, uh, to work on. So the idea of the collaboration between Braunschweig and TU Delft is that we can join forces. Eh? I, uh, I always uh, tell my people when it's about uh, collaboration, if you have to climb a mountain, and we have to climb a mountain, you cannot climb a mountain using one hand. Eh? You need at least, at least two. Well, you need your feet as well. But at least now we have two hands that can, uh, well, they join forces, and together we will climb the Mount Everest, let's say. Your openness the friendliness, the willingness to collaborate. Yeah, like I said, uh, it's a spirit. What uh, I also like about Braunschweig is the ambition you are showing, uh, the ambition of the university as a whole, but also the ambition uh, of, uh, of the faculty involved in aerospace engineering. Uh, 
for, and that shows, for instance, by, by you obtaining this uh, big program in the field of uh, sustainable and energy efficient aviation. I think that's really wonderful. Yeah, it's uh, overall the whole spirit, that's what I like.